Greetings, Eivor. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. Is Gorm here in England? Is he another blotch on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you, after I silence Gorm. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I'll speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. Oh, look at you, Dewey. May I see your stores? Nothing more? I A good day to you! Nice to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. What can you tell me of Vindland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she's willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I'll take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I'll go now and end the life of Gorm Kjotveson, where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. Hey, Eivor. Good day to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I am Eivor. Ranvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land, is that right? Ranvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous. Dull. Possibly fatal. Should we survive, you'll be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prized Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. Say the word and we are off. I'll leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. We'll leave now. Past 
mountains of ice, kingdoms of stone, saga lands. All this way to kill a man, Gorm Kjotveson, the son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea? Someone in charge. I'd better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Jora of Jorvik. Jora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us. You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those carrots. Hildi! 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 We can't find Olaf. Look, he's ours. Not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorm without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse. Not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this all love, you may know where Gorham is. Nessa, is your ship headed for England? It is. Are you ready to head back? No, I must yet perform a few tasks. <sighs> Do not take long, as we must return before the winter storms stir the cold sea. wondering, have you seen uh, Hilda's brother about? Olaf or the unlucky? Why are you sweet on the fellow? Is that it? No, no. Just worried about him. That's all. Ah, uh, well. I have some bad news for you, lass. Gormer comes roaring up shouting, what's all this? Who's been in my gear? And he stares right at Olaf. -er. Oh, sweet Olaf. The poor man. What then? Was he all right? Olaf, or he tries to run, but says, I weren't stealing, I was trading. But Gormer would have none of that. I can't bear to hear another word. Good, Olaf. To think he may have been hurt, or worse. Trading? Who could this Olaf trade with here? Shovel from Gorm's storehouse? No, it's the rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, dung brain. He beat Olaf bad. Thrashed him and locked him away in the storehouse. You know why? Because Olaf stole from Gorm and got caught. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now less whining, more working. 
Cora Storehouse. A good place to start. No, you tell Gorm he got out of the storehouse. Gorm is not here. So until he is, I won't worry on it. You should. You're the one who lost him. Maybe so, but I am sailing back to England at first light. May Loki eat this place. Where is Gorm at, anyway? We have supplies waiting for him. Only Olaf would know, but he had a kind of accident. Olaf the Unlucky. The fool earned his nickname. <laughs> This whole cursed venture isn't lucky, if you ask me. This Olaf cannot bear any loyalty to Gorm. Could be you laid me. Smashed crates. Somebody crawled off, left a trail of blood. Helge, that fine honey meat you have. Pour me a horn, would you? I have ale for you, Owl, but no meat. What? We had a whole cask. Gorm smashed it over Olaf's head, right there in the storehouse. Force hammer. I am done with this place. Send me home, Helge. I heard Gorm took a strap to Olaf. Yes. The fool stole goods to trade with the Skrellingia. So Gorm dragged him off to the storehouse for a beating. That explains the mess. This Olaf was trading with locals. Good to know there are other folk around. Finding Olaf may be the key to finding Gorm. Or at least the help of the life. Someone picked the lock and got away. War was hauled off. Could be a trail. Someone broke through here. Made quite a mess. Could be Olaf went this way. Those who friends do you do we do we understand one another oh yeah can you tell that you're on you talk no how that he got that giga young way do any of you speak norse or saxon so that they got giga young way 
Yate de Wayanderi. Yate Yungwayeri, the Onazini Toditni Gunra di Hantos ne Gaunt. Giga odzi da'a, wa o nazi ne giga yungwe. Tigade nat ne e. This is Sunan. Her name means insight. Yanja dahawe giga, zi nue oya ganyatara keronu itres. Danu ahinasku. Ahoya dagenha doga ahuna darohage giga. Sunan, you made us some friends. These oh, no, 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 Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick! What? Do not stab me from behind, Drengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I'm not here to kill you. I've come for Gorm. N not not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor, and Gorm owes me a great debt. Let's leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes, yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Did something happen between you and Gorm? Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I slipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away, far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here, or searching for something? Searching, yes. Always searching, and never finding the mean, mean backrot. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Olaf, would you tell me something? Anything Olaf can tell, Olaf will tell my new and big friend. Why would Gorm across the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal? It is true. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. <laughs> But my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <laughs> look! Out across the river! One of Gorm's camps! All look like that. All of them. They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. 
warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you. As well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps. Oh, yes. You're not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olavur will help. Gather ore and hides to barter for war gear. Ore and hides? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps. Then trade it all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. Yes. I don't understand the language. Can you translate for me? <laughs> no need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here. He seems eager to trade goods and wares. It's gone. Oh. He, he walks with Tigo. I'm off. Be well, friend. Zat kahto na hoda wagat geru. I i waksu tiga. Aya wasa yeza ya da genha. Ne on ha a jo yanere.
<laughs> you should have listened to me. You have always been too selfish, reckless. Even Mother said so. Blame not the adventurer, for the pull of blood songs can tempt even the gods. Where do I go now? Without you to guide me, what should I do? Lost. I am lost. Remember your brother and all that he is. Bring home his tales and let his legacy be grown. That is all we are. Words and song. I will hone my bowcraft and he will smile upon me from above. He will be proud. I will find you, Gore, no matter how long it takes. I'm going to be the best hunter ever. Just like you, brother. Wait and see. I will shoot that elk in the eye. Oh, were the waves we say, Frey? What? What? No, no! Is that? He is in the halls now. I, I am sorry, Frey. He died by prey, but he will rest a hunter. Oh, were the waves we say, cutting the old. Quite a number you've taken. <laughs> it was not me alone. My friends and I won them. We call ourselves the Toothbreakers. Sadly, we were separated by a beast of a kind we have never seen. In one fell swoop, it tore our group apart. We are supposed to meet here to hunt that creature before returning home. And so, I wait. Wait in safety, then. Safe travels, and watch the woods. Oh, were the waves we say cutting ocean skin no. ah. and when the dawn arrives the time for hunt begins they are making me wait quite a while One of Gorham's camps. Might learn where he's hiding. Or find some resources at least. Hmm. <laughs> 
rich cliff camp may know the worm's whereabouts. Odin that you found me. But be still. The hands of the ferocious tree shakers. My wounds. The ferocious tree shakers. My wounds hurt deep. To carry me to safety. You are safe now. Thank you. Thank you, kinsman. I was so helpless against them. I even tried to use a key I found as a weapon. The brute swallowed it. Now I will never know what that key unlocks. How did you come to be stuck here? My friends, the Toothbreakers, were with me. But we were separated when I went searching for what my key might open. I ended up snooping around that abandoned camp. And that's when they showed up. Bears. So many bears. Oh, I must catch my breath.
another. Why do men yell at one another when they have drunk too much meat? Meat is a delicious poison that gives men courage and robs them of kindness. But yelling is not always a wrong. Have you never wanted to lose your tongue and scream at someone? Throw hookah fire and word spears at those who anger you? Hmm, maybe? Why do you ask? Sigurd told me the story of Loki and his anger at the gods. Why was he angry? Because he was vain. When the gods heaped pretty praise on the serving men of Agir, Loki could not contain himself. His pride was heavier than his heart. He lived for trickery and glory hounding. He was jealous. Loki would rather make enemies of friends than hear a good word about anyone but himself. Never be as Loki was.